Good evening. I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. We're staying on top of the breaking news. A mass shooting leaving eight people dead in San Jose. Federal and local law enforcement agencies remain at the VTA rail yard and at the gunman's home in a sprawling investigation. And tonight we've learned the names of those who were killed. They are 36-year-old Top Hedge Jeep Singh, 35-year-old Jose Hernandez, 40-year-old Michael Rudometkin, 29-year-old Adrian Baeza, 49-year-old Timothy Romo, 63-year-old Abdul Wahab Alagmagden, and 63-year-old Lars Lane, and 42-year-old Paul Megia. Many of the victims were longtime VTA employees. We are covering all the new developments from San Jose tonight. Let's begin with Maria Medina with more on the heartbreaking news for family and friends of these victims. Maria. And guys, we were there as some family members learned they'd lost someone in this morning shooting. And I have to be honest, it was difficult to hold back tears. One man told us his cousin died a hero. They'd held onto a sliver of hope, but learned nearly 12 hours after this morning's mass shooting. Husband, father of two young children, VTA train operator Taptesh Deep Singh was among the eight murdered. We lose the good person. He's the he's a very good person in our family. Singh's family says they'd heard from the 42-year-old's co-workers that he pushed one of them into a room to hide from the shooter, then frantically called other co-workers to warn them about what was happening. He just saved her, and then after that, he go towards the downstairs, you know. The family had been waiting at the Red Cross after pinging Singh's phone inside a building at the VTA rail yard. But the answers for relatives and friends of the missing VTA employees, who'd reportedly attended a union meeting that morning when they were ambushed, waited hour after hour without any answers. We have no idea. I just pray that he's okay. Please, please, please. Christina Gonzalez's cousin, Michael Rudometkin, shown here with friend and council member Raul Perales, who also tried desperately contacting him this morning, did not survive. He's very involved with the union, I, you know, and um, great guy. What was supposed to be just another day at work ending in bloodshed for eight VTA employees who never made it back home to their families. When they said goodbye to their, their spouse this morning, their husband, they didn't mean goodbye forever. They meant goodbye until dinner time. And so again, you are looking at a memorial that is growing tonight outside San Jose City Hall. The memorial is here because tomorrow city leaders plan to hold a vigil for all eight victims at 6 p.m. again tomorrow. Guys. We have no idea how tough it is for these families to deal with this tonight, Maria, and our condolences go out to all of their families and all their friends. Thank you.